Hey everybody, it's Brayden. So for today's video, I am going to be going through Caroline's baby box. Uh, I have a little box that has a bunch of uh, memories and things from her first year of life. Uh, and I haven't really went through it in a while. And so I thought I could just go through it on camera um, and just talk about some of the things that are in there, why I put them in there. Yeah, maybe if you have a baby, it'll give you some ideas of what to put in your baby box as well. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I have Caroline's baby box right here. Uh, I'm just sitting in the floor of my room. I just thought that this would be a nice little quiet spot to look through all of these things. Okay, so I have this sweet little pink swaddle so this is um i think we use this for her um, newborn photos so this is a little halloween frame it's got a picture of her um she was being really grumpy <laughs> um and this is just from we like went to laps at story time in the town that we were from before we moved um and so they uh had a little halloween party and we made these then so we have that. Okay, so we're we're kicking it back, all the way back to before um, she was born. We have this little framed photo with a verse of Caroline when she was a baby in my tummy. Um, so we have that, and then we have some DVDs or uh, CDs that have all of her photos. So we had Christmas photos done. We had her six month photos. We had her newborn photos. And then we also have our ultrasound um, videos. So this is a video of us getting our 3D ultrasound of Caroline. Um, so we can see all of her little movements and hear her heartbeat and all of that good stuff on this DVD. So we have a few little clothing items. Um, we have uh, the Kiki Pants brand, little feety pajamas with little poodles on them. And it's got some ruffles on the butt. This is so itty bitty tiny, look how small. Uh, and then we have a little dress. I believe that we had her six month, um, it's got Oh, in the back. I believe we had our six month photos done in this. Um, so that's just one of those like sweet little um, things that, you know, special that we wanted to just keep separate from clothing storage. So we have that there. Um, okay, so I think she got this for Christmas this year, uh, but I went ahead and set it aside in her memory box, but we have um, a precious moments Bible, a lot of this stuff is from Lolly, <laughs> her grandma. Um, this, she has her little name on there, it says Caroline. Another frame with an ultrasound photo. Now this is a photo from the 3D ultrasound session that we had. So you can really see um, her little face and kind of see a bit more detail of like what she actually looked like. Um, and funny enough, she had her eyes open in this ultrasound. So that was kind of cool to see. Um, and then we have some more clothing. We have this little um, onesie with her name on it. This is Caroline. Um, that's kind of another thing that we thought we would keep. If we have another baby, they obviously won't have the same name. Um, so this is something that uh, is specific to her. Uh, and hopefully it'll be something she'll treasure as she gets older. I love the personalized things. Those are always the best. Um, and then we have, this is a bit older. So this is um, from her one year. So she was already 12 months when we got this. Um, but this is, hold on, let me buckle the little snap so it's not hanging down on the onesie. Um, but this is a little onesie and it says, my dad is so fly. It's a little wrinkled. Um, Caroline got in the box and kind of wrinkled some things. Um, so it was kind of good that I did this so now I can like 
fix everything back up and fold things, but um, she wore this to announce to everybody that Josh had sworn into the Air Force and he's active duty military and it was like our new life um, experience thing we were going on and so we had this made. His, his uh, mom, Caroline's Gigi, made this for her. Um, so that's something that we'll hold on to. It'll always be a precious little memory of that time in our lives. Uh, another clothing item, so I kept quite a few um, like clothing things. I'll probably use this for all the other kids, but I think I just set it aside just so that, um, to ensure that it stays safe and stays with me no matter what. Um, but I have this sweet little Christmas sweater. It could be for a boy or a girl. Um, so Caroline wore this um, on her first Christmas. So this has one of her newborn photo session photos in there. And then it has all these little dried flowers. These flowers in here are actually from uh, a couple of the bouquets that I got at the hospital right after having her. So I just pressed them and sealed them in the frame. So I think that's super sweet and everybody does it, I think. But there's her little um, hospital, um, I guess, what do you call it? Swaddle, little hospital blanket. So get that. Um, we have her first birthday. This is all out of order, by the way, so you can kind of tell that we're going back and forth in time. But we have her um, onesie, literally onesie. This, uh, her Gigi made this as well. Uh, it says one on it. This is um, the onesie that she wore with her outfit for her first birthday. Um, and then we have this little book. It says, to my daughter with love. Um, my mom passed away when I was 13, uh, and she wrote in here to me, right there, um, and so it's just like this sweet little book that says like all the reasons I love my daughter, um, and so I put it in her baby box to pass on to her as my first daughter, um, just to kind of like pass on that tradition, uh, and us, we can look through it together, and it's going to be a memory for both of us from our moms. And then we have, I have trophies for these, but we have these little ribbons um, from when she was in a little baby pageant. It's kind of hard to see because they're so light colored, um, but it has like all the little details in the back. Um, so she actually got three ribbons and two trophies from the little um, baby pageant. And so I just held on to those and then her little trophies are up on a bookshelf in her room. And then we have some sweet shoes. Now I've kept several clothing items, but I didn't keep um, very many shoes. I think this is the only pair that I kept. I kept these sweet little um, tiny baby shoes in here. Um, that was from a really good friend that got those for her when she was a newborn. So yeah, I just wanted to hold on to those sweet little shoes. And then we have the dress that she was dedicated to the Lord in. So we got her dedicated, um, we're Assembly of God, we don't do um, baby baptisms, but we do a dedication, which is like, it's more for the parents just saying, like I dedicate this baby to the Lord and we promise to like raise the baby up in the way of the Lord and um, just kind of teach them, um, spiritually guide them through their life. So that's kind of what the dedication is. And so I have her little dress that she was dedicated in. I think she was about three months um, and this was a little bit big on her, but it was okay because it's kind of like the little scrunchy bottom. So this is so sweet and definitely wanted to hold on to this for as long as we could. And then we have, this is from her first birthday um, photo shoot. So her lolly had her a custom flower crown made. We've got some flowers that are trying to come off. We have this little custom made flower crown that she wore in her um, her one year photos. Kind of fragile. Uh, and then we have another first birthday uh, memento. So this is the bow um, that she wore for her first birthday. It's a little bitty crown. So she wore that on top of her head for her first birthday. That's really sweet. So small, oh my goodness. I can't believe she was like, her wrists were this tiny, um, but it's just got some little colorful charms on there and then it's got a little cross. 
Um, but yeah, she wore this. I didn't like let her wear it all the time, but she did wear it a couple of times, I think to church. Um, and it was just super sweet. So we have this tiny baby, baby bracelet. I thought that would be so sweet for her to hold on to um, as she gets older. And then we have, oh my gosh, <laughs> we have a pregnancy test. It's kind of gross because it's like all old, but this is my one and only pregnancy test I took. It was a one and done situation. I didn't need any convincing. I knew it. Um, so yeah, we have our little positive pregnancy test. Uh, the only one, so it's really special, obviously. Uh, and then we have a little handprint that says November 30th, 2018. So this, she was Hi. still under a one year old, one years old at this point. Yeah. Hi, what are you doing? I'm looking through all your memories. Is that so cool? Say hi. Say hi, it's Caroline. Say hi, it's me, Caroline. Hey. I'm me, darling. <laughs> Focus. Say bye. Can you say bye? <laughs> bye. So this is from her Bubba, which is her uncle Caden. Um, my brother, he got her this little Florida um, postcard for her with Minnie and Mickey Mouse. Another little frame from the library we went to for laps at story time. So she was so little, oh my goodness. Uh, so yeah, we have this little frame. This is a little hospital style hat that says princess. It has this cute little felt emblem. Um, this is so tiny, oh my goodness. Okay, so I, I was showing this little document and then I, I thought I probably shouldn't like show all of our personal information on, um, on the internet. Um, so this, it, which I guess it's not that personal, um, I guess it's personal enough, but yeah, I have this sweet little form that has information, it has her little feet print, and then our, my, these are my thumbprints on it, so those are really sweet to have, and then I have this, um, handprint art thing that we made. We made this at the Children's Museum uh, near our home, my hometown. Uh, and it's got Josh's handprint and Caroline's itty bitty print and my print. It's like super sweet. This was actually her very first Halloween. Uh, she was Boo and she made a really good Boo. I don't know if you can focus, focus, focus. So there's her little photo with Santa. I don't know that this will focus, but she was not, she didn't cry, but she was not happy. She was very grumpy about that Santa photo. I feel like that's most kids though, like when they're super young. And so one of my good friends bought um, this old, it was like a used book off of Amazon um, for Caroline to surprise me with. I, you know, when you have those like weird, vivid, like childhood memories that are so deep and you just can't totally pinpoint what the memory is from. Well, I kind of had that when I was pregnant and it was of this um, book, this surprise party. Uh, and it's like a super old book from like the eighties or something, which I wasn't born until 97. But my, uh, my Mimi, my grandma, she read this to me and my cousin when we were little, some of the pages in the inside. Um, and I loved this book. It was like my favorite book. And I had that like, memory of the surprise party book with the animals and I found it after searching forever and so my really good friend got this for me off of Amazon used um, because you couldn't find like a new copy which I think it's sweeter that way um, and wrote like a sweet little note in the back for Caroline when she gets older um, and yeah I think that was probably one of my most um, favorite gifts because it was so special and sentimental and um, my Mimi is also um, passed on so this will be such a sweet memory to um, share with Caroline. And then we have this is huge I'm not gonna unravel it but her Gigi made a huge birthday banner I mean this thing is huge but it just says happy birthday Caroline and it's got a picture of Caroline you can kind of see the feet um, there so I put that all the way down at the bottom fold it up really tight uh, and then of course we have her baby book 
Now, if uh, you guys are anything like me, you did not fill crap out in here. I did a little bit, but um, I didn't get super far. Um, I did fill out things really early on, so she has some information in there. Um, and we have her little um, ultrasound photo, and we have all kinds of photos from her baby shower. Uh, what else is in here? Let's see. I need to go through this and look just myself because I haven't, um, I haven't looked in a long time. I have a little, little clippings of her hair from her first haircut, um, and then in the back I have all of these like loose mementos. Um, I have like congrats on the baby girl card. So this was when she was in the hospital. And same for these. I only kept the ones that people like wrote like a lot in. Um, this is one of the like sweetest things that I think I kept. Um, my Aunt Annie got um, me a balloon and I think it's so sweet. So I kept the balloon from the hospital. I don't want to like open it too much, but it says it's a girl, it has a little carriage. It's just so sweet and girly. Um, and so I deflated it and I kept that in here. Um, I also have her little blood pressure cup. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so teensy weensy. I have, oh my goodness, I can't. Oh my God, it's so little. The little blood pressure cup. Oh my God, I can't get over it. Um, and then I have the little pulse ox finger monitor. Um, from the hospital as well. I don't know if every hospital lets you keep that stuff, but you pay for it, so you should be able to keep it because they're just gonna dispose of it, of it if not. And then we have the hospital hat um, that the hospital gave her. Um, and then, oh my God, I lied. So I guess I had more than one pregnancy test. I thought I only took one, but I guess I took two because there is definitely another one in here. All these little ultrasound photos. Um, and when you're pregnant and you get these photos, they're like so special to you and you just stare and stare and stare at them. But when then you, you look back at them and they're like blobs. Um, I have little photos from her first nursery um, in our like first house that she ever lived in, which funny enough, we didn't live there very long at all. Um, and I don't really associate it with her first nursery because she was only in there for like two months before we moved. Um, to our next house that we were at almost two years. Um, so I have that and then I have like my little wrist, all my little wristbands from the hospital. Uh, I have the teensy weensy one that was hers. I don't have the band on it, but I have this sweet itty bitty one. Oh my goodness. I can't show like all the information on it, but look how tiny. Oh my goodness. That's the sweetest thing is looking back at all these teensy weensy things. And the last thing I have is her certificate of dedication. So again, I said, Caroline, um, we dedicated to her to the Lord when she's about three months old. So this little certificate saying that. Um, and yeah, that is all for the baby book and pretty much all for um, the baby box. Okay guys, that was all for my video looking through Caroline's baby box. I really enjoyed um, looking through the memories um, and seeing all of her itty bitty tiny things. Uh, makes me really excited for our next baby whenever that happens. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know down below if you guys have a baby box similar. Um, and I will see you in the next video. I post every Monday and Friday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye.